Texas 95, 7 the Armadillo Craig Vaughn in the studio. Got my WRCA family in here. Hello, big brother. Uh, Craig, <laughs> not government big brother. Are you the case of cousin? That's yes, right. <laughs> Casey Hooper and Lehman Wall in the studio. And uh, boy, another another great weekend of rodeo. This is what, the one in Guthrie, the OCA yes. Ranch Rodeo, is a two day, right? Two day rodeo, 12 teams. This was their. 36th annual. Wow. So OCA stands for the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association. And actually, it's the OCA Range Roundup. Uh And so it's basically a historical factor, 12 teams. To get into that rodeo, not only do you have to be a WRCA card-holding ranch team, but you have to be a member of OCA, which means you have to have a number, certain number of cattle. You have to have so much land, you know, in different aspects. Mm -hmm. But that... And their uh, fundraiser, and they do a little for their foundation, but a lot of it's for the children's hospital. Oh, neat. Yeah. Um, I don't, I, I don't want to be wrong and say which hospital, so I'm not that we'll, smart. We'll quiz Miles. That'll be fun. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't put him on the spot like that. <laughs> yeah, because that's really on the spot. He's probably already like, Shh. Dayton, you <laughs> jerk. <laughs> but a little bit about... Um, <laughs> Before we get on the air with him, I, I'm i just impressed. I mean, you have 12 teams, and I I did Friday night kind of find myself a little cubby hole to sit in and squint my eyes through the banners there. And every team had a, and this is no joke, had a dad, a mom, a daughter, a son, a grandpa, something in a family. Right. Every team that was entered had something some family a or a member on the team. <laughs> yep. If that's not heritage or tradition, that's really cool. And Saturday, the governor of Oklahoma posted the colors, walked oh, cool. in. Yeah. That was actually really cool. It's actually. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't think it's any non public that he is a COVID survivor. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know the logistics or when he got it or whatever, but yeah, I remember that because he made headlines. And I don't know, um, it's Kelly something. I could be. Kevin Stitt. Oh, see? Well, I mean. Certainly okay. You're right. And Kelly Close. Smith, but really his name is what? Kevin. Kevin Stitt. Kevin Stitt. I'm not even going to try. To, well, Stitt. I know that. It's but like if I, Well, Stitt. but I, I'm hearing what you're spitting at me. But here's the thing. I could really turn it around and say, ba- I mean, like, I mumble. So people already know what I'd probably say. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Uh, how was he? How was it attended? Did a lot of people there. There was up? a lot Good. of people. I mean, I think their crowd was might have been down a smidge, mm-hmm. but every night after the rodeo, uh, there was a live band. Good deal. And the ranch teams got treated pretty darn good there. And I mean, it just kudos. You know, I Becca it was Becca Gagan and Andy Holloway during the grand entry had two, and I don't know what their ailments were from the children's hospital, but they had them on horseback with them and in through the grand entry, you know, they got to protect and introduced them. Mm-hmm. And the ranch teams, believe it or not, look forward to doing that. Mm-hmm. When things were very unapproachable, but in reality, there's a heart there for kids, mm-hmm. you know, kids and elderly. I think it, you could, I, you just can't beat it. I think we really step up to the plate when it comes to doing the right thing. And so they got to ride around with Kojak and Becca, and it was kind of a neat a neat deal. Very cool. Very cool. So who won and who who ended up who ended up taking this one? Then? McPhail Land and Cattle. And I tell you what, it came down to the well, I'm not I about said the nut cutting, but I guess I'll just say almond Can you trees. Say that on the radio? Well, we we just okay. did. So anyway, it came <laughs> down to the nuts and bolts. <laughs> Whitmire's were going in Friday night, winning it, and then McPhail's, I think, were in second. I can't. I don't know verbatim right off the top of my head, but Saturday night was a whole different story. Right. So McPhail's ended up winning it. Second place was Steer Walt and Trittman, and then third and fourth were tied. Between uh, Whitmire Landing Cattle and Gray G Bar, and so I mean, you never know how much everything's going to unfold. Yep. So the top hand 
was also the recipient of the top horse. Oh, good. So Kevin wow. Lawson had a great G bar, the captain of that team and the manager of that outfit actually got top hand top horse that doesn't happen very often does it <laughs> it happens but it's uh just not it's a, just no. it's tough yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really really tough and my gosh you have another rodeo broken record ah, thank goodness i wasn't judging that because <laughs> it's and then we you know the don reno brought the bronx him and mark owens and good time by all excellent excellent and so we're calling Miles yeah, we're Baker. Call Miles Baker. Okay, from from Mc, McFell Land and Cattle, right? There you uh, go. And we're gonna ask him about what hospital he went to. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. We got him on the phone, Miles Baker, and uh, off the air. Uh, I have to be honest with you, Miles actually did know the name of the hospital. We he did. I, I have to eat crow. <laughs> I have to eat crow on that one. I have to completely eat crow. Even well, Miles, where are you from? I'm from Snyder, Oklahoma. There you go. He's part, everybody, he's part of the winning champion team out of OCA. And so we pulled him in. And uh, this rodeo, as we talked about before we start talking to Miles, is all about tradition, heritage, and then their fundraiser. So I know as a, a representative from WRCA, and I know as a spectator, and know as knowing the ranches, I know you guys get a lot out of being part of OCA, the heritage and tradition part. Yep. But I know that you guys, McPhail's have been part of it for a while, and I know the Children's Hospital Foundation and the, the Children's Miracle Network play a real close part in how you guys kind of get to see that side of stuff. So if you'll just kind of tell us a little bit about how that makes you feel. I mean, I, I mean, maybe... You obviously don't want to take your Bronx over there <laughs> to put the kids on, but I know you really put a lot of thought and heart into extending that olive branch to them and letting them experience through their little mock ranch rodeo they do and also just experiencing it kind of humbling, is it not? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's probably the coolest part of the whole ranch rodeo. We, every year, Dayton, he's our team captain and he's the head manager for the McFailed Ranch and every year we reserve a couple extra stalls and he has young boys that ride mm -hmm. and we take a few extra horses up there every year and they bring the families can bring some kids from the hospital up and they get to ride the horses around and it's it's probably the most humbling thing I get to be a part of yes, sir. Um, and yeah. The Oklahoma Cattlemen's Association does all the footwork to make it happen, and it's just a, it's an awesome ranch rodeo. Seeing those kids get to ride a horse, uh, you take just any kid growing up, every kid wants to ride a horse, you know, or be a cowboy or yep. feel that free feeling of getting to ride one, and especially those kids that haven't had that opportunity to maybe be outside and run around all the time and have the freedoms that a lot of other kids probably take for granted. And it's, it's so humbling to be a part of. And, um, I'm just thankful for the WRCA and the OCA and everybody that makes that happen because I know it's for the kids, but it's for us too. Uh, sure. when you get done helping those kids out and being a part of it, it's a, it's an awesome feeling. Well, just to see, so, we, you you hit it. I mean, we it's an exchange. It's just that the way we operate. We live in such a closed world that we don't get to see right. not lack of not wanting to, but we're so we don't go to town unless we have to. So when we do, right. and we can do a humanity part like that, I guess would be the word. It it, it is. We need that too. You know, it we need yeah, that because sure. uh, people think we're outlaws and beer drinkers, but actually, guess what? <laughs> we sure. might yep. drink a little beer, just but on we're the, just on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, we might drink a little beer, but we're God fearing people, and we also care about people's. I mean, we really do. Elderly and kids don't ever talk bad about that to me, and I know you guys feel the same. But hey, while I um, while Dayton hasn't woke up yet, and we're waiting on him to join us, um, I'm just kidding, Miles. Uh, when I was taking the picture, it was kind of a ram a jam -a deal during awards. And they're being pulled yep. over here, and they're lifting the trophy like a Wayne Gretzky in the hockey match, you know. And I'm like, yep. come over here, come over here, and I'm trying to get them lined up. Those kids, 
those kids that are on your team, you could oh. not. I bet their ears hurt. I bet they have locked jaw. They were smiling and waving <laughs> at people. and I was like, oh, they were tickled to death. Oh, my gosh. That was half of the, I mean, I'm glad you guys made it. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad we got that deal done. But just seeing those kids, oh, my gosh. Yeah, they okay. went from 11 years old or whatever to 30. Like, we're going to Cantina yeah. because that's where they said they were going. <laughs> oh, they were, shake, they were shaking the leg up there afterwards, too. I figured. They, I uh, figured. I figured. I sent their mom a picture last night. Shannon Hall's youngest daughter, yes. Joe, she was taking some pictures, and she <laughs> sent a picture to me. And those boys, they had just announced that we had won it, and they were grinning ear to ear. Yes. And the littlest one, Drake, you know, he's not five yeah. years old. He uh, he had his hat off and he was tipping his hat to the crowd. <laughs> he was he was tickled to death. I was giving them a hard time. They're <laughs> little brothers to me, and yes. I said, "You little turds, we've been fighting to win this rodeo for the last several years oh, yes. and make it to the finals. And the first year they're on the card, they're going with us." Oh, isn't that great though? Wait till they get here. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, they'll yeah. I mean, well, we're gonna have to widen the door and let them fit in. Yeah. Fit their heads through. I know yeah. it's all about you grown ups, but gonna, they're uh, gonna think that it's like <laughs> how's it taking us this long? Yeah. Like guys, what was so yeah. hard about all this deal? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna yeah, they'll be wondering wondering what was going wrong before they were on the team. Well all we gotta do is tell <laughs> tell Randy Lewis and Tallman a little something and they'll tear they'll carry that from Thursday till Sunday. I mean, that, they'll be get to yeah. a point where you guys will be like, that is enough. We can't even <laughs> get them in the hotel room. <laughs> like, we got to tell right. them I, I hope them boys love it because y'all know as well oh, as anybody yes. that the, if the more young people we can bring into the farming and ranching industry, the better off we are. And i tell you what, those boys right there, they love it to death, and that's all their family does. They're They're about it from... Sun up, sun down. They're they're ranching. Them right. Boys love it. And I totally agree. And and don't forget, it's Casey's job security too. So, however, I need yep. to line their pocket. I will. If suckers and Jolly Ranchers, <laughs> yeah. we're good. Yeah. You're, <laughs> well, Lehman, sure just seem, go ahead, Miles. Oh no, I was. You said uh, suckers and stuff, and I said, yeah, watch them boys. They might just be fourteen, but they might prefer beer over. Well, I mean, it is it is sponsored. We are sponsored. Yeah. But. As long as mom yeah. and daddy don't argue, I guess that's fine. Well, they lead by, uh, you know, the branding pin. Mama might. No, oh, well, <laughs> true that. But here it's like uh, the Miles and Casey show. Lehman, Craig, do you want to join in? <laughs> no, you just, no, y'all are y'all are doing, doing great, doing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Craig and I are sitting over here drinking coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to say beer, jerk. <laughs> yeah, well, the beer, it's not noon. I guess it is noon somewhere, so. <laughs> yep. No, I'm I'm yep. just curious, Miles. Um, I I didn't get to to be there. Uh, I didn't didn't get to see any of the competition. Um, oh, I did tough. see on OCA's Facebook and all that that they were sharing some videos. And man, it sure looked like obviously you you won it. So it looked like some great competition all the way around. But I, I just want to hear from you. Like how how did things kind of shake out? I mean, what what did what did you think made the difference, I guess? Saturday um, night. <laughs> yeah. We, I tell you oh, what, uh, we had a Friday night. I felt like we had an awesome night. Yes. Uh, our bronc rider, he marked like 83 or 84. I think he finished third. And we didn't make a great run in the straight gathering. We just kind of got by it. Uh, we come back second or third in the Brandon, third maybe or fourth maybe fourth in the doctrine and then like a third and second or third in the cow milking or in the pennant and then the cow milking. And I'm sitting here thinking, golly, we had a heck of a night. And I look up and I'm not sure Whitmire wasn't 50 points in front of us. They were, I think they led with every event. I'm not sure that they didn't win three or four of the five events that night. And so they were obviously on fire. Well, come out the next night to answer your question what made the difference the bronc riding yep. <laughs> right off the bat on saturday night whitmire maybe first out and like i said they're just lighting it up at this point their bronc rider stubs his toe and gets bucked off well we're like 
one or two after them. And uh, I talked to the contractor about the gray mare our bronc rider, Rowdy McFall, was about to get on. And he told me right then, he said, hey, she's rank. He said, if, if he covers her, it's going to be for good points. And, man, i tell you what, he didn't just ride her. He spurred her. It was – I was so excited. There's a video. You can see his bottom of the screen, and I'm jumping and hollering and mm-hmm. screaming because <laughs> – I knew if he got her covered, we were going to be setting good. Well, heck, he marks her for 90 right off First the bat. First time, at, well, real quick, yeah. Miles, so when they did the 90 points, that was like an arena record, wasn't it? Like, it was like they were thinking 90 what? points. And I actually looked up and I thought, 90 points? I, I honestly I think I've only been throughout all the years maybe one or two rodeos where we got 90 points, and that would be including championship with Tyler Rice. Yeah. Yeah, it was – it was a ride. I that boy Rowdy, he went to work for the McPhails and we didn't have a bronc rider and through working for the McPhails he was he was eligible and mm-hmm. we were he wanted to ride him. He was like, Man, I wanna get on him so he buckled down and started going to open rodeos and everything and I tell you what, that kid can set on a bronc and he he rode that sucker. I I couldn't believe it so that got our momentum rolling and stray gathering. We just kind of survived it again. I I didn't do a very good job. I top knotted one, um, but we come back and the rest of the night it seemed like we was around third or fourth and everything. And we get to the cow milking and they just for sake of suspense they quit sharing the average score. So no one knew where they're at. While I was keeping track in my head and the best I figured if. Trentman and Stillerwolf, they had a great rodeo, too, and they were right behind us, and I thought, man, if we can be in the top three in the cow milking, by my math in my head, that, no matter what they did, that should get us the win, and our cow trots out of the lane under the big balcony, and Dayton, he sticks it on her neck, and she's still trotting, and I go to her head, and she kind of blows up, and jumps around and stuff but i look i'm watching over my shoulder i'm on her head and i had the eye my rope in my left hand ready to run and i i was waiting i knew as soon as i seen my dad take off running that we had it won because i was like nothing can go wrong here unless he trips and spills the milk and i know how bad he wants to win so he probably had a death grip on that bottle you know and i seen did. him take off run yeah I seen him take off, and I was right behind him. And when I crossed the finish line, I was like, we just won this dang thing because they hollered out. He said he thought it was a record, but we were 26 seconds. And I was thinking at that time, I'm like, if if two teams beat a 26, then they deserve to win. So I was pretty confident we had it won at that point. So, so I, I, to, an, to answer your question, I it was just a good rodeo. If you – Anybody that knows Ranch Rodeo and knows that you can get humbled real fast and it can go your way or it can go against you. And it seemed like all week long, it just, everything went right and everybody on the team did their job. And man, I tell you what, our, our bronc rider marking one for 90 right out of the box on, or right out of the gates on Saturday night, that set the tone. Oh, definitely. And you could tell it. And then in the pinning, it was like dog eat dog world out there. It was like the weirdest yeah. pinning, or to me it was. I don't know, but it felt like on the ranch teams. Man. But Man. they were yeah, they got they were. no respect. Cattle were cattle were no. no the cattle got sticky and they got numb and uh, Dayton. Man, I tell you what, you see stuff happen like riding a bronc for ninety or mm-hmm. you know healing one by two feet and jerking him down in the straight gather, and you see cool stuff happen like that, but. It's a ranch rodeo for a reason, and yes. Dayton's a good cowboy. And I tell you what, I don't know that he ever got out of a walk in the sorting that second night. The cattle were so – they had no respect for a horse. They got numb and wanted to push on you. And Dayton took his time, and he milled through them. And when we got our three, it took us a minute. When we got our three knocked out, they were quiet. They wasn't stirred yes. up. And we just milled them around there and stuck them in the pen and – I, everybody from that point on, I sit there that was trying to just beat the clock and not beat their cattle. Uh, they yes. got in a bind pushing on stuff too much. So I, Dayton done a really good job not getting in a hurry and just taking care of business. Being patient. 
being patient because yeah. probably eight out of the 12 teams that were in that event wanted to take out that rope and just call it good. <laughs> They're towards yeah. that middle, the end of it, it was yeah. getting like painful. So, well, Miles, yeah, for sure. you, you actually did a great job of representing your team. And so I'll make sure when I see Dayton to say, we'll just take you from here on out, anything we got to do. <laughs> um, your dad will get his wings on his track shoes when he gets here because that's a very yep. large pin. Um, and yep. uh, we will make it right. And please pass on to the guys, congrats. I really didn't get a chance to talk to y'all very much. Everyone wanted part of you, and which is uh, the whole point of it. It is your, it is your show. But uh, yep. we will see you guys in November, and we'll be in touch of any changes or anything that we have got. And, Lehman, do you got anything for him? No, I, Casey, I was going to reiterate, uh, Miles, we might actually need to bring Miles on as yeah. part of our radio team. Man, you knocked this deal out of the park, but I really enjoy it. It's like I could actually see, see myself it. sitting in the stands watching these events because the way you describe things and the detail you went into, man, I could, that was perfect. So mm -hmm. appreciate you being well, on with us, number one, for the win. God dang, that's that's impressive, but just enjoyed having you on the radio, man. Yeah, that sorry, was cool. Dayton. Well, Sorry, it's Dayton. A, it's a hundred. It's a hundred degrees here, so anytime I can sit in the air conditioner and talk on the phone, I'm all about it. <laughs> y'all, okay. y'all call me anytime. Congrats to you, Miles. That's awesome. Tell those Thank boys. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good. You bet. Tell those boys right. we'll have all the food they want to eat, the milk, and all that here for them. I'll let them know. Okay, I'll be excited. Wayne. There, I can promise you, they're ready to be there. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Thanks, Miles. Thank y'all. We'll Bye. see you. See you. Well, let's see. You got a, you guys got a, a busy weekend this week. Got two rodeos coming up. Are y'all, y'all splitting up? Are you going or who's going to what? Where? Well, before we get started on that, I've, I keep looking at Squirrelzilla. <laughs> Craig's got this this T shirt on that's a squirrel acting like Godzilla going through downtown somewhere, and it's distracting to me, <laughs> and it's cracking me it up. Says. And um, probably says Wuhan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, man. It's got this giant squirrel, and I'm sorry I had a squirrel moment. So go ahead, Lehman. Well, I'm now, done. Now that you bring it up, that's all I can look at <laughs> is the <laughs> dadgum squirrel. That's all I've been Jeez. looking at. <laughs> I, I didn't even notice it till now. But. Well, don't follow my lead. <laughs> yeah. But no, okay, so rodeos this weekend. We do have two rodeos, and they're actually close enough. If y'all are in this listening area, you could kind of get out of the house and yeah. go check them out. Yep. Um, Friday and Saturday night in Roaring Springs, Texas, we will have the Motley Dickens Old Settlers reunion, uh, ranch rodeo down there. They've got a lot of activities going on, dancing, as Casey mentioned, good swing band dancing going on. It'll be Texas style, not New mm -hmm. Mexico with accordions. <laughs> Well, hey, if like they want to break out the polka, right. that's I mean, okay. Me and you we, did it. We, we, can, we can do it. We can handle it. We can do it. But they've got they've got ranch horse show stuff. They've got a youth ranch rodeo. Turtle races. Going on. Oh, mm -hmm. turtle race. Okay. There you go. Well, yeah. That's a big time. Yeah. Washer. Yeah. Or you washer. notice she said washer. W war, 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 washer. I can't, washer. I've never been able to say that's that. That's New Mexican for washer. That's right. Agua <laughs> rinser. <laughs> So that's we're on Springs, Casey. Then we got. Oh, my gosh. And then we got What do we got? What do we got? Lamar, Colorado. Yeah, and that one's about three hour, three and a half hours north. So you either got to go south or you want to go north, to really. But both are. are well, they're not going to have a warship picture in Lamar. <laughs> 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 no, they they won't have, have that. But it it'll be a great weekend for yeah. Ranch Rodeo, and we'll get to come tell you all about it next week. Yeah, this will be good. WRCA.org for all your info on everything. WRCA.org. I just shared the. Uh, Earlier today, I shared your uh, your flyer for the raffle that's going on, thank too. You. So if thank people want to definitely get on the raffle. And thank you to Twisted X and Wrangler for the Top Hand Award at OCA. Uh, Kevin Lawson, I'm sure we'll probably need a new pair of pants as we're getting a little faded. So uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, Kev, if you're listening, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if that's true or not. I just made that up. WRCA.org. <laughs> WRCA. 